Villa going up. The Welcome back, Villa boys, to another video on my match review of a Crystal Palace game. As Aston Villa have won back to back game, we've been Crystal Palace at Villa Park 1 0 at Villa Park. So, link in the video. What then, to be honest. I am mixed emotions to be on I am mixed emotion the positive is okay let's talk about the positive in my opinion the positive is we won three points clean sheet that's a positive let's talk about the positive the positive is we won the game that's all that matters in my opinion all that matters we won a game of football we won at Villa Park we needed that three points because, you know, often we didn't really play that well today. We are very, very negative. Not played that great as well. And another clean sheet as well. Another back-to-back -back wins. That's a part that I can take over this game. Now, let's talk about the negative. The negative of this game. Our little talk about negative. Number one. Number one. We're very slow today, in my opinion. Absolutely very, very slow. Like, like, do you know what? We pass the ball, we pass the ball, sideward, sideward. We really go forward a bit more, in my opinion. Like, today, we didn't really do that much. Yes, in the first half, we played a bit left, but we played sideward passing so many times. Number two, playing at the back. Sometimes we play, don't get me wrong. That's enemy football. I do respect it. But play on the back so many times, we can't get caught out. We'd see against Leicester, like Kamara made a mistake. He got caught out. We play, we play pass on the back so many times. And you know, we're so lucky that um, we play, I don't know how we're gonna, we did not get caught off it today. But, you know, we do not get caught. Number three, like, you know, um, we're playing very slow. We're playing a bit. Sometimes it makes emotions. Second, even the second half, it went Palace down to 10 men. I'll talk about the red card in a minute. When they're down to 10 men, we didn't really take advantage, in my opinion. We didn't really take advantage. Like, Chris Palace, even Chris Palace was attacking. That would they were still attacking with the 10 men. Just looking forward and we didn't really take advantage of it to be honest. Like we are lucky that Palace didn't have an off day in my opinion. Like we still had eleven, but for me, we didn't really take advantage. Even the first half, I am oh, I don't know why first half I'm mixed emotion, you know. Very mixed emotions in the first half. Some spell in the game, we have good possession, which do, and some say we have bad possession on the ball. Like in the sixth minute, I'm not gonna lie, let's be honest, bully, bully, honest. We're so lucky not be one or down. Like, we're from so hard, past Emmy Martinez, very, very easily, but luckily, the goal was offside. Do the what? That quest is changing around the field. Oh. But it still means a concert have to wake up. That was too, too easy. It's too, too easy. In the 25 minute, you know, like McGinn passed the ball, Matty Cash, you know, crossed the ball in, and Yoke Anderson put the on goal, make it wonder to us. That's a, you know, that's a very on goal. And, you know, Matty Cash has a full save with the cross and you know Yoki Anderson put the on goal and wanted to Aston Villa. And apart from that, nothing really happened. Second half, nothing really happening as well. Um Pilot did really friend us, not much, not really much today. We did really trouble. Martinez got enough to do, to be honest. We again have a shot but good save by Greater, the goalkeeper. And um, again, how I no try, but it's a good, good block. And the red card for Czech Dukowie, 
that disgusting challenge. The first one, that's 100% deserve a yellow card. And the second one, 100% yellow, a red card by Czech Dakota, the player we've been linked with. He's slight tackle Kamara with the injury. And he's slight tackle Kyle Chambers as well. The player we just, he just come out to replace Kamara, slight tackle, and same off to the red card. That's 100% correct decision. Now we have to check Kamara's injury now. It looked very no good. He looked very struggling. So I don't think Kamara not going to play next week against West Ham in the London Stadium. I don't think he don't be fit as well. It'll be interesting what Lana will Emery go to Sunday game against, you know, West Ham United. They lost, you know, 4 0 to um, Brighton. They never be Brighton at Amex Stadium. So then, my, um, I am mixed emotions. I am mixed emotion. Yes, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with the three points. Don't get me wrong. We won the game. We got a clean sheet. It's back to back win. It stopped what for Villa Park, but we need to do so much better. I want attacking football. I want the same way we did to um, Everton last week. Now we have to do so much better now against West Ham. What did that be? End of the video. Make sure you give the like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Villa Boys. I think that I'm off the Villa.